Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and this is a brand new Honor 9X and today is a very special video for me as I'm going to go through all the accessibility settings that we're going to find on this device and there's a wide array of different settings. So first of all, when you first boot up your device, you will actually get accessibility options and settings right at the beginning of the setup process, which I showed you in my unboxing and setup video. So that's really helpful to see. Also, you can use something called a volume key shortcut. So with the volume keys, if you press and hold them together, Talk back on. Talk back is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision. It allows interaction with the device using spoken feedback. Talk back tutorial. So this is a tutorial that will take you through to understand how to use talk back. So let's go back home. So I've highlighted it and it's come up with a green box. If I double tap. Huawei home. Weather. Double tap and hold to long press. Automatically highlighting the weather and the clock here and I can double tap or I can long press to get information, but I also can do that with applications. Phone, messages, Chrome, camera, double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. So it gives me information and then what I need to do if I want to do anything further. Also to navigate, use two fingers. Screen two of two, high care, of gallery, eight notifications, files, health, browser, clock, double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. So it tells me everything that you see on my screen here and also being visually impaired, this is really helpful as well. So if you're having a bit of a bad day with your eyesight or if your vision is that bad and you need to use this, it's a great option to have. And with the volume key shortcut, it just works straight away without going into the settings. And also it's available right from the beginning as soon as you power up your device for the first time as well. Really impressed to see that. Also, this works at the top here as well. Emergency calls only, full Wi-Fi signal, 1036. 57%. So it lets me know everything then up the top there. So it lets me know about my emergency calls. That's because I haven't got SIM card in this model yet. Also, it tells me the time and it also tells me the battery, which is amazing. To turn this setting off, press and hold the volume keys again together. Talk back off. So talk back is now off. So you can also get into this by going into the settings as well, but it's really important to know that the shortcut is there. Now let's delve deeper into the settings. So using the gear icon here, we can find more information and more setting options from the accessibility area. Coming down to the bottom, scroll down. One, two, three, four from bottom is something called smart assistance. Tap on this. This gives you a range of different options that we're going to go through now. The first option at the top is accessibility. So this is all of your accessibility settings, but I'm going to go through other settings as well. So at the top, we have talkback. So talkback is the feature that I've just gone through. You can toggle that on or off here. Plus underneath there's more settings, so more in-depth options that you can change and adjust that best suits your need as well. So obviously mine might be different to yours or someone else's that use the settings, but it's nice that their options are on here. And there are a lot to go through. It's really impressive. And obviously I will do a dedicated video about a dedicated feature every single time. So we're looking forward to making some new videos on the accessibility options that we find on Android devices. Underneath that is select to speak. So this is very similar to talk back, but done in a slightly different different way. So let's toggle this on. I'm going to hit OK. So once toggled on, you're going to notice a new icon down here at the bottom. So this is like an accessibility man just putting his arms and his legs out. So now instead of the three capacitive touch buttons, you actually have four. So if I tap this little person here and press the play button. Navigate up. Select to speak. Select to speak. More settings. About. When select to speak is on, you can tap specific items on your screen to hear them aloud. It goes through everything right at the top all the way down. Obviously, there are more settings there. You can go into more settings. So if I stop this here, it told us about more settings. There's more settings that you can change and adjust again for yourself, depending what you want to do. Also, there's another way of using this as well. So if I actually tap the icon here, but then tap the text. When select to speak is on, you can tap specific items on your screen to hear them aloud. When I first done it, it read right from the top. The second time I done it, I actually selected the text area and it read from there. So two different options to use there, but really nice to see that select to speak option on this device, as well as the talk back. Underneath that, you've got then your mono audio. So just, you can turn mono audio on or off here, depending if you need to use that. Underneath that is then captions. So captions is a great feature that you can use for people that are hearing impaired. So you can change your language, so you have a range of different languages. You can change your text size, range of different text size here. Then also you can change the style as well. 
So you can choose the style that best suits you and best suits your ability. Underneath that is color correction. So if you're someone with an eyesight condition that is affected by different colors, this might be the option for you. You have three different options here to change and adjust depending on your need and again, your ability to choose from. So again, you choose which one's best for you and then you get to use the smartphone the way you need to use it, which is awesome. Underneath that is magnification. So if we toggle on the magnification, one of my most favorite options, as well as the talk back and the select to speak. So three quick taps on the display, any finger will actually zoom in for you. You can then actually manipulate your way around your device with two fingers. And this works anywhere on the smartphone. So you could be on the home screen, you could be in messages, you could be in a phone call, you could be actually looking at stuff on the internet browser, it doesn't matter. You can also zoom in as well. And as you have a full view display here from Honor, it's really good that you can actually enjoy the whole display without being inhibited by a notch. So you can pinch back out or you can press three times really quickly and it'll zoom back out. There is also another option. So one, two, three, hold on your third one, your third tap. And what you can do is actually quickly fly around with one finger. So say I wanna see my battery percentage, 57% here, release, and it goes back straight away. A great feature and I really actually enjoy using that quite a lot and very helpful for myself. Underneath that is the ability to use a large mouse pointer. So you can use a mouse pointer to manipulate your way around your device. So underneath that you have color inversion and it does say underneath that the performance may be affected. But if you need to use this, you need to use it. It doesn't matter. So color inversion switches it around for you, but this will also adjust all of the colors on the home screen as well depending however you use it and what's best for you. But I just want to highlight what it does do. So I do prefer this way where it's a white text on a black background, but sadly there's no dark theme on here, which is a little bit annoying. Maybe they might be able to introduce this in the next update to EMUI. Underneath that, we have advanced visual effects. So if you don't want the flashiness or you don't want any visual effects, you can toggle that on or off there. Underneath that, you have switch access. So I think this is a really key option to have on a device. I'm really pleased to see this is coming now to more and more devices. So you can use switches or interaction controls with your smartphone. So if you can't use your hands or you can't use your fingers to control your smartphone, you can use switches and interaction devices to do so. I think that's really impressive. Also, you have more settings in here. Again, a real in-depth range of different settings that you can choose to set up your switches or your interaction devices. And again, I do want to bring a dedicated video about this setting to actually really highlight everything that's in here. Again, toggle that on and it will start the process for you. And you can go through this process of setting up your switch or your interaction control. Underneath that is accessibility shortcuts. And as you saw at the beginning of my video, we use the volume controls to actually turn on talkback. Again, this works here. And also you can have it for the lock screen. And also you can change the options that you might want to use. So you have color correction, color inversion, switch access, accessibility menu, and obviously Huawei system services different options down here to choose from. Again, really good option to see. Underneath that one, you have touch and hold delay. So here you can have medium, long, or short, depending which options you choose. And again, depending which option's best for you. Also with the large mouse pointer, you can click when cursor stops. So you have the large mouse pointer, but obviously here, you can change and adjust when you actually want that click to happen when you have finished moving your mouse pointer. I think a really handy option to have them two together. Don't know why they're not paired together, but that's okay. Underneath that is the power button can end calls. So your power button is the smaller option on the right hand side. Sadly, there's no tactile or color difference between the two, but it is the smaller button of the two options. Your volume controls are above it. Underneath that is a section for downloaded services. So if you have any third party downloaded services, this is where it will be. So coming back, that was all of the accessibility settings. There are a few more that I want to talk about, but also there are some other options inside here. So you then have high touch. So high touch is an advanced shopping experience. So as you can see here, you can press two thumbs on your display. And actually then if you see an image on your web browser, say you're looking at a smartphone or a case or tablet, whatever you're looking at, you press and hold and then it will load up Amazon. Also, there is an ability in the camera app as well to actually use this. Again, we will make a dedicated video, but I just wanted to show you this option was on here. Underneath that, you have one-handed mode. So you have different options here. So it's in here, there's two different options. If you're using the navigation bar, which we are here, you swipe across the bottom. If you're not, you use two fingers in the corners and pinch up. 
So as soon as it's here, if we just swipe across, it should work. Okay, sadly that option is not working at the moment, but it will be working as soon as an update will happen. And I'll mention that to them, but it's not currently working on this previous update. Underneath that, you have then motion control. So inside here is a couple of fun options that you can use for motion control. The first is Google Assistant, so you can use the power button, or also you can use the home button down here. So what's the latest news in the UK? Here are the top headlines. So it tells me all the latest news there. Google Assistant is a fantastic service to use all the time. Also underneath that, we then have Flip. So to do this, this will mute incoming calls and mute timers and alarms. So you can turn that on or off depending what options you want to choose. So you just flip your phone over and it will mute. You also then have Pick Up. So when you pick up your device, you can re reduce call ringing volume, reduce timers and alarms, and also wake device. So I will have that one where it wakes the device. And obviously that's where you just pick it up, which is a great option to use. Underneath that is three finger screenshot. So inside here, toggle on, use three fingers down the display, takes a screenshot. I can then share that and do whatever I want to, or I can just dismiss it away. But that was how simple and easy that was to do. And it's just telling me that it's gone into my folders here. So a few motion control options on here. Obviously you will get more on different devices, but it just depends what devices offer what. Underneath that is mistouch prevention. So if I touch here and then touch up here, it will sort of auto detect which ones I'm actually touching, which is really helpful. Underneath that is scheduled power on and off. So if you have a child and you don't want them being on their device, you can schedule the power on and off here. Great option to have. Also, there is an extra option Option down here at the bottom which is system navigation so like I said there's different ways to navigate around your device but to get the accessibility man up here and to use some of the settings you do need to use three key navigation obviously if you want to use gesture control you can do and like I said you can start this here and it'll give you a tutorial which is nice and handy but I prefer the three key navigation I think it's just easier to use plus you're going to have the accessibility man there to actually help you with other options so coming back out of this like I promised there are some other settings in a different location which can be a little bit frustrating but let's go through them anyway in display which is near the top of the settings is first of all your brightness so you can change and adjust your brightness or you can have automatic depending on your choice very bright display which is really good works in bright sunlight as well which i found really quite helpful underneath that you have color mode and temperature so you can change adjust the color mode and also the temperature depending on your choice. And as you can see here, it subtly changes just depending on which options I go for. So we've got a normal sort of color palette here. We've got vivid, I prefer vivid. I think it's more easier for me to see. I like my colors to pop and come alive. Also you have eye comfort control as well. This has a two Ryland certification for eye comfort control. And I'm really pleased to see that. So if I enable this here, as you can see, it sort of takes away that harsh blue light and the harsh white light from your display, but you can also make it a lot easier depending on your choice. It's actually the harsh blue light that can cause you sort of discomfort and also means that you don't get to sleep or proper sleep when looking at a device. But obviously you can change and adjust this, you can schedule it on and off, but I'm really pleased to see that option on here. Underneath that is text and display size. So you can change and adjust, you have a couple of presets up here. And then obviously you can manipulate which ones that you want to use. So that's really good to see as well. One other one is screen resolution. So to get the best screen resolution, obviously you have HD plus, FHD plus. Then also it's got smart as well, smart resolution, which actually automatically changes and adjusts depending on what you do and also your battery life. Underneath that you have more display options. So inside here you have full screen display, obviously with a full view display from Honor here, you want a full screen access. So YouTube is one of them. Definitely you want to see all of your video because you're not going to be inhibited by notch. That's about it, what we've got. Coming back home, that was all the accessibility settings, features, and different options that you can change and adjust to make the Honor 9X your own, no matter your ability and no matter what you need to change. The options are there to help you. If you have any questions or any queries and you want to know anything more in depth, please leave a comment down below. If you need to know more about a certain feature, please leave it down below. The one that's the most popular I would make a video of first. Obviously, I want to go more in depth with more of the new features and showcase what is available on the Honor 9X and also what's available on new Android devices as well. Thanks always for watching. And like I said, please leave a comment down below if you do need any help. While you're down there, please like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay updated with all of the latest news, reviews and unboxings from me, Ricky. Thanks always for watching. Bye for now.